So I came to the mall so that I could work out and then I realized I didn't have any socks with me so then I went to the store to get socks and that just turned into me browsing around. Kind of looking for stuff for new, my new apartment but then I saw this French bakery and decided to walk into there and I just figured I would just spend the day nurturing my soul. So far everything's been really cool. I'm getting super acclimated to work and I kind of like it, which is cool. Uh, I just came up the escalator, but I turned back around because I realized I don't actually have any food. So now I'm going to go to Publix. So this part does not work. All right, folks, this week has been a big week for adjusting. Um, as you guys know, about a month ago, I relocated to Miami. So it's good. It's nice to be home because I am originally from out here. I'm from West Palm Beach, which is an hour north of here, but it's just nice to be able to see my family an hour away instead of having to book a three, or not even a three, a six hour flight to see them. I don't know, it's something about being home that just kind of grounds you. Um, I also kind of alluded to the fact that I sacrificed something earlier this year and I feel like that's why I'm getting a lot of these positive changes that I've been asking for. And so just to kind of share with you guys what that was, I actually stopped drinking. And it's been great. I feel good. My skin looks good. Not right now. <laughs> but just generally, things have been going well and I'm more focused and I'm just more intentional about everything I do because I don't have that same anxiety that I felt when I was drinking. And even though it wasn't necessarily that I was drinking a lot, I recognized that there were a lot of habits that I had that I felt like just were not, they were not contributing to my life. So I started to kind of look at myself as a project that I wanted to invest in. Anything that was not bringing me a return on my investment, I decided I needed to cut. And drinking was one of the biggest ones because I recognized that it became this huge crutch for me. So I just wanted to get back to being able to regulate myself emotionally. And so that's why I gave it up. But. There's been a lot of positive changes since I've done that, and that's why I kind of wanted to share it with you. Um, I don't know how long I'll go for. I started last November, or sorry, I started last December. We're coming up on the first week of October. So I've gone pretty far so far. And yeah, I just feel like a lot of what I have to be thankful for, a lot of the work that I was able to put in was because I wasn't tired or groggy or lazy. And I think giving something up is a way to create space for a lot of the positive change that you want because you can't ask for things to change and want them to stay the same at the same time. Well, you can want them to stay the same, but you can't ask for change and expect things to stay the same. So I put the action into motion of making a change so that I can welcome the positive change and it's going well. So. For those of you out there who maybe you're not seeing any results from something that you've really set your mind to, you might want to consider doing something like that. Alright, now help me figure out what I want to eat. I'm not really hungry and unfortunately I'm one of those people that until I'm actually hungry I don't know what I want to eat at all. This public seems kind of small. Once again I find myself in the snack aisle, but we're here for actual food. That's the other thing guys, I haven't cooked myself a meal in over a month. Pretty much since I've been out here I have not cooked a single dish so it's just been making me feel a little unstable. So I'm going to be happy once I finally make a nice nutritious meal for myself that's balanced and I get back into this uh, normal eating routine and these normal habits. Yeah, okay, it's time to hunt for food. Okay, so I was wandering around Publix and I could not decide what I wanted to eat because I didn't want to cook anything. But we moved out of the snack department and I did find something to eat. What do you guys think I got? I want you to guess and I'll give you a hint. It's something that I don't have to cook and it's in Publix. The pre-made stuff. I'll reveal the answer when I get back. Here's what I ended up with. Crispy chicken tender sandwich. You know what? It was looking kind of grim for a minute. I didn't think I'd be able to find anything. Not to cook anyway. 
Oh, there's cheese on here and pickles. Pistachio croissant, I don't know, but flaky and pistachio had my name right on it. Mm. Uh, mm. Wow. This is good and bad. This is so good. So it makes my heart happy, but it's bad because I know where to get it from. I told myself I'd only take one bite, but who was I kidding? It's so good. I'm just gonna edit a couple of videos and then head to work. Not really much going on for the rest of the day, but I just wanted to say hi and take you guys along with me. Just because I feel reinvigorated. I'm excited to start putting videos out more consistently again and I hope you guys, hopefully you guys don't get too annoyed with me checking in all the time. Yeah, that's really all that's going to be going on for the next couple hours. I'll talk to you later.